Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 50 Round 1 match between Crag79 and his Necromantic and Toastguy7 and his Undead. Uh, they are inducements of two Bloodweiser babes for Crag79. In the booth with me is Kalon. Hello! Hello Jim, great to be with you buddy, thanks so much for having me on. Uh, hello everybody in Twitch, hello everybody on YouTube. Um, should be a good, fun, exciting game here. Um, if you want to know more about the teams, lads, on YouTube, make sure you've gone and watched the um, introduction video we did the other day on all of the uh, all of the uh, teams from this round, um, and that should be available uh, as one of the more rec most recommended videos. Glorious! What a what a pro, Kalon. Um, yep, that is correct. And yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty good undead team here. He's got a strength up goo, which is nice. Mighty yeah. blow tackles, uh, decent mummies. And yep. uh, Craig has got a pretty decent necromantic team, though he's he's his fleshies are rubbish. Um, yeah, they he's, are. Yeah, he's got nice, nice, uh, nice whites. Nice. This is not as good as it looks. No, it because isn't. It's got a minus edge, but um, yeah, plus that plus edge, minus edge. But it's still a strength four wolf. Like it's still pretty fucking good. Yeah. Um, strength four zombie uh, uh, who who did get blocked as well. Um, yeah, the whites are the whites are good. Uh, the other the other wolf is pretty fantastic with its uh, claw mighty and tackle. Um, yeah, it should be an interesting game. Yeah, and uh, thanks for that, Tony. And I didn't punch him, nor either. I uh, I pushed him, pushed him into uh, the wall. Ooh. There you go. Did not, did not punch him. Did you get banned yet? I did get banned, yes, and I got my money back from like going to some games day or something. I was like, "Well, I want my money back from that if I'm not going to games day." <laughs> and then he go, I demanded my money back <laughs> before I was banned. <laughs> but they called the cops on me. Can you believe it? Uh, yes, yes, I can. <laughs> you shoved the guy against the wall <laughs> where it, in a shop where he worked. Yeah, <laughs> it's a perfectly standard reaction to have when somebody says you can't play Blood Bowl. Yeah. I mean, he was trying to kick me out. He was trying, like he he he, he touched he touched my stuff. Right, right. He touched he touched my possessions. Yep. <laughs> I'm just being, you know, devil's advocate here, just because it's for 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 comedic purposes. Yeah, he touched my stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not on. There's a bit of a there's a bit of a mistake here, I think, from Toast Guy, is there's a strength four wolf with frenzy, and I, I know this guy's got stand firm, but you know that's. This is a gaping hole. Like, I do Tis. not like this gaping hole. I would have much preferred to put this guy over here. So at least yep. he's got to try and take down the... Well, maybe he doesn't want him to take down the... Mummy to get around the corner. But if he goes around the corner, then at least you've got this space to go in. Whereas now he can flood through and really cut you off. And like he's put these yep. both these guys out here. That's way too much. This is a uh, uh, real bad for that guy. boy without any effort whatsoever. Yeah, this is and, real uh, bad for And like obviously you can hit him with mighty blow as well, right? Like you could you could just bring in somebody and hit him with mighty blow, like you don't have to use the strength four, but you've even got the strength four option if you want. Yeah, I think this is real bad. Yeah. Exactly Lehman was but he's not going for that at all, so there you go, what do I know? <laughs> he's full up on Yeah, maybe you just didn't see it. I suppose uh, I, I would I would almost hundred percent have gone for that. Yeah, I would have done. Also, I would have, uh, I would have therefore removed his uh, white, which would have been yeah, with white, yeah, yeah, because that's how the dice work. <laughs> I did not punch a horse at a football game. <laughs> Unlike most Geordies, I haven't punched a horse. <laughs> I didn't push him with his pelvis. I didn't push him with my pelvis. No. <laughs> <laughs> God, uh, I know that you know Tony a long time, so Tony's actually giving us more insight. He's like trying to narrow it down. Which one of these? Which one of these events was it? <laughs> these happened. Was it this time when you pushed that man with your pelvis? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was a different time. It's a different shark. Oh God! <laughs> Most romantic and violent courtships in the history of England. And then I saw him. I saw him later on. Uh, he was working in a games workshop in in Newcastle because he'd quit the one in Darlow. And then I saw him, and he lo he looked really scared when he saw me, <laughs> which I enjoyed. And then obviously I didn't do anything. Oh, the Duble skulls block yeah. would have made no difference as he just rolls an instant oh. one in thirty six. Yeah, indeed. 
So Torskai gets away with this gaping hole that he left. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? So, fair play. I suppose it leaves there's a bit more playing going on in the game then. Yeah, there's but, uh, a surf on here as well, isn't there? Taking advantage of that, um, to be honest with you. Yeah, there's a surf. There's a surf. He had to re roll that, didn't he? But he had, in fact, not only right, he had to pow him, so it was terrible. But I mean, you've got to surf this guy now. Even I would try and surf him. Which is saying something, isn't it? Uh, yeah, indeed, yeah. <laughs> I guess the problem is the the counter surf from the wolf. So maybe it's a hard yeah, match, it's, isn't it? it's so hard to get away with uh, having done a surf when you've got those guys there, um, especially one of them being strength four, and uh, the other guy's got sidestep as well. So shenanigans are available to toast guy should um, should he decide to should. Um, no, oh no, it's toast no. guy is dead. Sorry, toast guy is dead. Yeah, sorry, I got it wrong way around. No, uh, no, no danger of surfing him now anyway, with not only blocking with the guy who wouldn't have surfed him, like, you know, he had to block the mummy first, but um, the fact that he rolled the pushes. Oh, he had grab! Oh, no, the surf was easily on then. He didn't have grab. you got to hit him with grab then, dude. Like, because he can grab him back and then put... Oh, my God. That was, oh, my God. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, surfed that guy pretty well. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Wow, how'd you not hit him? Then you could have grabbed him to there and then pushed him to there and then served him off and you're totally safe from no counter surf. Oh my god. Well, I'm hating both players play so far. <laughs> uh, do you think maybe Tuskai is, uh, you know, a little bit thrown? So, for those of you who don't know, for the lads arriving on YouTube, uh, we were actually getting ready to cast this game when the game was um, um, all of a sudden conceded uh, because it turned out that. Um, there had been a slight misunderstanding of the um, fair play rules and thought that the amount of fair play rules was 50k instead of 40k. So uh, the lads decided to uh, reset the game, got in touch with the admins and got them to reset it and they restarted. So do you think maybe that's got into his head a bit? Maybe. Oh, wow, there goes a white. Yeah, so there's a lot of removals here, isn't there? Two, yeah. Two gone there, one gone there. Yeah, regen, but he read, read, regen at least, but cripes. Yeah. I don't hit anyone. Um, an XFL is coming back. Yeah, the Rock bought it. Uh, the Rock and his wife are running it, or his ex-wife. No way. Mm. Hmm. Correct. <laughs> I think it's his ex-wife. Uh, it's nice that they're still um, in touch. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah, 97 till 2008. Hmm. I'd say to be hard to be that popular, that like amazing, that wealthy, and stay in a relationship. Hmm. I mean, it would be with her. <laughs> <laughs> just a joke, just a joke, okay, that was just a joke, I wasn't being mean, I wasn't actually being mean, um, but yes, no, yeah, because yeah, he's super busy as well, isn't he, he's like, he's insanely oh, he's busy, just away all of the time, like, yeah, just yeah. non-stop, and then when he's, when he's not, when he's not working, he's working out, <laughs> yeah. or, or eating, yeah, yeah, he must, like, the guy just, he must spend, like, two hours a day eating, and I mean, maybe he's, yeah, maybe he's a little bit. He's probably not that bad, right? Because he'll, he'll be on the he'll be on the uh, the rice all the time. The not yeah. chicken rice. He'll have like he'll have a it, I, I hardly touch minced rice. beef and rice. He'll have minced beef and rice. Hello, uh, well minced. He'll have minced. He'll have minced. Uh, but what's bison? Minced bison and rice is what he'll be eating. Hello, You're PC. Talking about how beautiful he was, his great big arms. I just presumed it was me. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I was saying, like you know, so we're so glad to have you here. Uh, somebody yeah. who'd actually, you know, with the same uh, physique, would be able to give us some more better insight into into the Rock's diet. How are you, PC? Oh, the Rock. Yes, yeah, what a beautiful man he is. Uh, I'm very good. Just spent half an hour answering the door to small children holding me hostage for sweeties. Oh, how lovely! Um, it's it's it, a gorgeous time, but it, this isn't is the it, point yeah. of the evening where it gets a bit worrying. Uh, mm -hmm. What? Because they they're less um, they're less less young and more old and may have knives. Just from experience, there is no non-creepy way of saying to a 13-year-old wearing fishnets, dressed up as a witch. 
trick or treat without it sounding just creepy as hell. <laughs> so if that's yeah, the case, I'd yeah. literally just proffer the sweets and say nothing. It, it's yeah, the indeed. easiest. Yeah, that, I think that's probably a good thing. <laughs> yeah. um, fair play to you. Is the house directly onto the onto the um, road, or do you live in a... Yeah, like, yeah, no, we're in central London, in the suburbs, so, yeah, you know, we're right on a street with loads of kids on it. There's a primary mm -hmm. school right out back, which is where my kids went. Mm -hmm. The wife, being American, means we have Halloween decorations up for two weeks before. Oh, house. of the course. Kids to come here, so... Yes, 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 yes. Well, do you know, as I said... Uh, one of mine being 13 years out, trick-or-treating still, so... Excellent. Cool. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we used to go over to the neighbor's house uh, but you know you'd have to get in the car to go over because um, fierce rural um, right. and then you'd and then go into like my mum's friend's house in town and then uh, we'd also bring sweets to give their kids if you know what I mean so it was all kind of it was oh weird. I know what you mean um, excuse me <laughs> um, yes I'm whereas I'm just hiding in the dark there you go mm. so far no kids have come brilliant <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> Yeah, luckily, as I said to you in text earlier, uh, I live in a gated um, uh, apartment block, and I live on the top floor, so um, with no children in the, in the building. There are some kids in the building, three buildings down, but um, I'm not expecting them to come. <laughs> Glorious. So, I can uh, hear them yeah. walking but, past, but they'll keep walking because all the lights are off. Yeah. <laughs> I, do en I do enjoy the magic of it, though, um, because it is something you kind of feel you miss out on a little bit later. Um, because when you have, uh, I don't know if you have nieces or nephews or anything like that, it, it is kind of magical for them. Um, same with Christmas, it just becomes very kind of shit. <laughs> but <laughs> if, if there's kids around, you kind of go, oh, that's kind of nice, you know? <laughs> So uh, I'm sure some of the parents in the uh, in the community will uh, will share that. Yeah, it's just quite a <laughs> You've perpetually got to stop the one kid that wants to take two or three when everyone else is just taking one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, I just sit them down and say, look, you'll end up fat and have no friends. <laughs> All of your friends already mock you when you're not there, <laughs> and you're starting to smell. So just take the one. In fact, perhaps just eat fruit. Yeah. And uh, and I think the parents appreciate that. Mm, mm. <laughs> Finally, That's funny, isn't it? I would have hit him with, I would have hit him with a mummy for the mighty blow hit. But there you go. I guess his mummy's going to blitz the uh, strength four. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh God! I'm, ordinarily, the quality of your Discord is bad, but this is really, really bad today. <laughs> well, I'm yeah, loading into the client for that reason while I watch it. I'm uploading to YouTube at the moment, so that won't be helping. Ah, oh, that will probably appear to be, yes. Mm -hmm. So here we go, it does go and hit the strength four. Yes. It's a classic matchup. I never know how to read Undead Necromancy. Mm. I mean, on paper, obviously, the mummies should outdo the golems, but the golems have that stand firm, which is just so annoying. But then the mummies do too here, don't they? So surely yeah. they've got to have the advantage. Uh, well, you'd think but that was... They can't because wolves. Yeah, it's the fact that um, when you get to like early in a in a league, I would probably favour the done dead up until about fourteen, fifteen hundred, and then after that, it's just I, I think necromantic are just so much better. Yeah, getting block reliably on the fleshies is the thing, isn't it? Like in a low TV, mm -hmm. like the strength is really good on mummies, but then yeah. later on they don't have like you know when they don't have block, they're like just defenseless, and it doesn't matter their strength five because there's enough guard to get two D on them, and then they're just. Their strength isn't yes. really good anymore. Their mighty blow isn't good anymore because you've got other sources of mighty blow and they just they just fall off rapidly, don't they? Um, yeah, most things that I can either so. deal with them or get away from them, that's the problem they have because they're mm -hmm. still incredibly slow. Whereas the flesh columns, it sort of feels like they still do their job no matter what the TV is. Yes. Unless they yes. face claw pom, in which case they just disappear like butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, speaking of claw pom, we do indeed have claw pom here on one of the wolves. He hasn't engaged either of his wolves at all. Um... No, only Claw Mighty. He might, he might do now, he might go. Claw Mighty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I thought it had Pam. Again, I can't read the screen. Yeah, is it, there is a, client, there is one of the wolves wolf in, in, facing in one way, and on mine it's facing the other. Strange weird, but true. It? <laughs> he might have tried yes. to pick off this being intelligent zombie. That might be a good one to go for, might it? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that it's zero commitment. Yeah, you know it's a nice one if you snipe it, and yet you're not having to get involved in the big nasty centre of this mess. It's quite the utility zombie as well. 
Getting rid of kick would be handy. Getting rid of a guard would be handy. Yeah, I don't hear that. And that's what he's gone for. It has indeed. Well, has block. So that's unfortunate. He'll do not. No, he does the classic dodge away as well. Oh, you love to see wow. it. Wow. Top tier necro player. Full, <laughs> full on necro yeah. play. I mean, yeah. you definitely wouldn't want to stay on that incredibly lethal looking zombie, would you? <laughs> <laughs> but it's the uh, it's the fact that it's got guard, of course, so yeah, the white with the tackle yeah. can, and the mighty blow can come up using it as its assist, can't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Has left the hit on the ghoul on though, as a result. Yes, I might have put in the strength for wolf as the assist for that reason, so it would it would mm -hmm. be less. You know, it'd be harder to get the hit back. Um, Metalicious has anything important? There's been there's been a, a KO'd white um, for the. Necro and now a killed. Zombies are three players down for the Necro. Yeah. Only one down for the uh, undead. And undead got away with a, a massive, a massive positional error in my opinion that the uh, Necro didn't punish them for. And then they also turned down a surf, which I thought was terrible. So, you know, there's been some interesting, terrible plays so far. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no offense, but. Uh, I think that overall pretty fair, to be honest. Yeah, like just a couple of terror. Like you know, most of it was good. Just those two things were. I thought were, were Would you park down? The, I think you you can flood down the left hand side here and get a lovely hit on that um, on that uh, ghoul. Uh, with on your the, you can get a lovely hit on the on the wolf. Yeah, hit on the wolf, wolf or a single one, go yeah. for it. There's very low risk. Yeah. So you yeah. probably do the go for it first. No, no, no. To put go it in for position. It. No, go for it. You can just. Uh, I wouldn't put the ghoul up. I'd use the zombie. The dirty no, player zombie because he's punch. Just punch PC. Give a damn about. Oh yeah, okay. Punch forward and use then the guard that's on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah why not? Punch, yeah, no, yeah. that makes perfect sense. Yeah. But certainly hanging a good wolf like that slightly out, it, it demands hitting, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. I know the other one is strength and agility up, but that's less dangerous to my he's also mummies agility and down. my whites. He's also oh, is he? Yeah, oh. yeah he is. So yeah. If only they'd sort of thought of showing that as well, eh? Yeah. Without having to click on him. Yeah. Cause, uh, I mean, if he was strength or edge for it, would be unbelievably good, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Was, oh, well, there we go. We're not we're not blitzing the wall. Yeah, just going for the, the straight up um, hit on the gowl. I mean, I've seen I think he was going to get the foul in on the uh, flesh golem this way. Kate Beckinsale's a vampire that has sex with werewolves, isn't she? Uh, she is. In, Fights in, in, them and then has sex with them. It's both indeed. or complicated anyway, but it is. yes, that would be a vampire werewolf, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> I always, uh, I actually, my first Underworld team I ever made was called the Kate Beckinsdales. Because they were Underworld, you see. Brilliant. <laughs> Did you marry the director of all of those films? Indeed, she had married him before, which is... Yeah, uh, and then even quite... when they got divorced, they kept making them because they she did, looks good yeah. in leather and they made lots of money, so... Indeed, yes. Similar, Same as the Milo Jovovich. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, yeah. similar to Milo Jovovich. And all of those Resident Evil movies, which keep getting made because, you know... I mean, who, which are even worse, let's be clear. I mean, the... Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey, Beckinsale one's bad, but the... Oh, the Resident Evils are just shocking. Mm -hmm. But they've, they've clearly got a market, and, you know, good luck to them. They do. The market's pretty much anybody who likes Mila Jovovich running around in very little clothing while um, reminiscing about uh, different parts of the games that they've played. Yeah, I just, can't imagine that's a huge visible. number of people. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I can. <laughs> while, while reminiscing about a, a video game that shares almost nothing with, <laughs> with the movie that they're watching. <laughs> like, that's the weirdest thing, isn't it? It's like it's basically yeah. not got nothing in common with the movies. The big question there was whether or not he was going to put the assist in with the ball and uh, decides not to. But, um, because you're definitely fouling this fleshy. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, he's let the hit on as a result, though. Unless he brings the fleshy. Oh, no, he's just, I mean, he can just come in and hit this with the, uh, well, I suppose it's not, it's not particularly nice target. No, you can hit it, but... but sure, do you put the, um, ball in the, in, in the inside and put the wrestle ghoul on the outside? I mean, it, no? it's, it's screened, isn't it? So you'd have to uphill. You'd have to yeah, okay. uphill power the. the oh, it is. Sorry. Yes. 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 You're right. And then you'd have to uphill power Blodger. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty okay. You could run all the way around and hit him, but then it's yeah. a frenzy trap and it's uphill. It is pretty shit. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is. Uh, I think this is the half done basically. Mhm. Mm 
for the undead, like for the necro. I don't see what they can do, even if even if you just like even if you just full potato. It seems it seems terrible for the necro, doesn't it? The isolated mummy out on the right, as we're looking, you could wolf that, couldn't you? You could. No, yeah. don't bother defending. Just see if you can chip a mummy. Yeah. Because that would bode very well for the rest of the game. Wouldn't it? Yeah. But even that, you can't hit. You'd have to get round the back of that ghoul with the strength four and do it that way, I think. Yeah, you could put in... Using the plus strength zombie and the tackle mighty blow white with... But it does mean putting that tackle mighty blow white on the tackle ghoul. Sorry, the, the guard mighty blow white on the lodge white on the tackle ghoul, which is probably not where you want it. Mm. If you don't get the mummy, it means the wolf is isolated round the back. And it gives up the drive all at the same time, so it's you know, yeah. not without some risk. Let's <laughs> you, say. Can, you can't, you just can't get the mummy this turn. Like with, with the wolf, you can't. I, I, you can with the strength four wolf, but like you can't with the yeah. mighty blow wolf. No, no, it would have to be the strength four, yeah. and you've nothing to really foul it out with. So you're really looking to get the claw mighty on it, and it, yeah, as you say, can't be done. Yeah. And then it's hard to even go for the goo because he'll sidestep away, and then he's got the guard. So just it's like. Going, it's, yeah. Yeah, the only way to deal with that is to put the um, the blodge white around the back of it, so that you've got you know assists in every direction. Um, and, and then if it sidesteps forwards, the strength wolf could be there, and if it goes backwards, the guard white could be there. But then you're hanging the guard white on the mummy, which is not where you want it, even though it's blodge. Yeah, but then you'd hope to knock it down with your strength four zombie afterwards. When you yeah, afterwards, it. yeah. It's fucking pretty rough. It does look like some variation of that plan is what he's trying. Yeah. Mm. yeah there we go. So he does get two and two this way, yeah. I think I'd have had the blodge white around the back, not the wolf. But... I mean, it doesn't get two and a two, does he? Oh, no, he gets... It would have uh, been two and a one. Yeah. It would have been two and a one. Oh, no, two and a one because oh, of the oh, mummy's yeah, guards, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Because, because it's not the strength four that he used, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He should, have, should he use... gets it on one. Yeah, that is dodging out well. No, you can just you well, know, 2D the mummy, can't you? Can just oh, yeah, 2D the mummy. 55% to get it down, and if not, it still needs help to hit anything. Mm. Yeah, this is defenseless, isn't it? So mm -hmm. This is pretty good. Pretty good. But he has given up the drive. I mean, it was already given, it was already given up. That yep. was the thing, yep. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Doesn't get it. Doesn't Diced. Get Diced again. It's only turn three or four. Ooh, oh, that's really dice. Re that. Oh, yeah, you that's... can re-roll it and get yeah, absolutely get more pushes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's first half. If he is giving up the drive, what else are his re-rolls going to be for? For sure. No, I think that was correct. Definitely correct to re-roll it. Just very mm. unlucky, wasn't he? Yep. Incredibly unlucky there. Considering it isn't a 55%, of course, because it's a blockless mummy, so there's 75%. Yeah. So, like, 94% with a re-roll. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he just one in 16 there. Mm, diced. Really game. <laughs> really game. Um, and, hello, God War. Unbelievable. Um, played Ducky earlier. No spoilers, but, you know, <laughs> it was a 1300 TV human team versus Ducky with Wood Elves. <laughs> So. Yep, it certainly was. <laughs> Wasn't uh, the easiest game he's ever played in his life. No. Well done, uh, God War. Um, yeah. It's interesting, these ga uh, these grabbers, isn't it? It's good that he's got these mm. grabbers. Mm. It's certainly better than break tackle, right? Yes. Yeah, it, grab is what I give them after Garden mm -hmm. Stand for... Um, but like it's usually not that good. But it could have been brilliant. It could have gotten a surf. Yeah, but, uh, yes. I mean, particularly if you're going with stand, with stand firm, it keeps them more viable into the fight because you can you know, keep things on you while still making progress and in the direction you're choosing to go. So it's it just keeps them more in tune with the rest of the team. Whereas break tackle, yes, it, you can keep, you get out and keep up, but it's it's a bigger risk for sure. It is. And ultimately, they're still not going very far with it. That's it. This movement yeah. tree is just makes break tackle that little bit less valuable overall, I, I feel. Yep. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the ball's going here. No, 
like that tag, the, the white gun on the back, that means either one's going to blitz the ghoul, right? So where's the ball go? Like, mm. oh wow. Choices were made. Mm. That's my son and his mates trick or treating his own house. I think that's cheating. Uh, as well. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> Because you, you you have to give them more than you've given all of the other trick or treaters as well, lest uh, you embarrass them. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here you go. Have a Mars bar and, a, and an apple for you, and a, a, a stern word about your uh, your overall calorie intake. <laughs> <laughs> I've said as I disagree with your friend choice. I don't see why I should give them candy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. No, I quite like this. It's. There's some slight risk to it, isn't there? Staying engaged whilst also trying to reverse the field. But it, it's really trying to use everything you've got all at once and keep the ball safe. It's Yeah. Yeah, he's I got mean, to hit the strength that... four, and he's pretty much got to knock over the strength four when he hits it. He's got to hit it and knock it over, which is... Which is a bit shit. Well, it's riskier than it needed to be, but if it all goes well, he ends up in a, a really nice position, doesn't he? Mm. Yeah, so not standing firm, so to put some more pressure on the fact that, alright, if you'll stay in there, we'll make a game of it. Yes. I believe just get cast and no regen, so there you go. There we go. Take care of that. <laughs> Fantastic. That, uh, that worked then, that plan. That's why I don't like stand firm, see. Can't imagine casting a flesh golem. <gasps> Doesn't get the knockdown, can't re roll it. Oh, he's got grab, but still. I guess he gets the follow, which is important. Doesn't sign. Yeah, and gets to move him, you know, um, further away, which means he can't put his uh, his guard on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it doesn't follow, because if he, yeah, he grabs him there, obviously you have to grab him there because you need him away, because otherwise you could punch yeah. this guy. So. Um, I mean, the ball can be hit here by a skillless flesh golem on two go for it. It can it can be hit by this wolf, right? This wolf can come around. Got to, you got to deal with him. But then you can go yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Eight, nine, ten. It's it's not great, well, is you, it? But you're hitting a strength four ghoul that's got to assists in every direction, so it's Well, you can make it a one D, right? You could you have, can make uh, it a one D, yeah. Yeah, you could have you could have tagged him. I mean, wasn't great. That's the problem now, everything looks shit because he's lost so many players. Like this. Yeah. Well, and the flesh golem's not coming back. That's the big problem, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The dead, the dead zombie you can live with. The KOs will be back mm -hmm. eventually, but the dead flesh golem—that's even even a shit golem. The shit golem is still a pretty, pretty great player. Yeah, fantastic. It would have just been a, it would just been a one day shot of dice because it was a GF I'd hit him once, so it'd have been. You know, it is no. That's that's no. Yeah, I was here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it was ten. It was like double G if I'd hit him once. But you could have done it. And he's probably like the best you're gonna get, as shit as it is. <laughs> as shit as it is, and not something you want to do. You ain't stopping him like this. So if you're trying to stop the score, then that's what you do. But otherwise, you're probably better off getting hits like this to try and just that's, make some attrition uh... for us than that for the second half. Well, that's certainly different. Mm. Yeah. That uh, does uh, change the equity up a little bit. Down one of your more responsive players for the rest of the game. Yeah. Happy, I'm sure, that it's uh, just a badly hurt. Yeah. Downside of this, you know, keep engaged whilst keeping safe strategy, wasn't it? But then if you disengage, you've got to leave a couple of players behind that then get totally monstered. Yeah. Yeah. And the wolves are hard to deal with, aren't they? Man, wolves are great. They are, yeah. Yeah, region has been pretty fake today, hasn't it? There was the one <laughs> earlier, and then uh, mm. there's this one as well. We've got not many regens. Ghoul didn't regen. Diced again. Diced. <laughs> not, yeah, none no, of Time of Steve's guys regened either. God, that's always happening to my ghouls. <laughs> yeah. Never lucky. <laughs> oh, fuck stream it. It's hard to deal with these wolves. Well, well even putting them on the ground just isn't that helpful because they're so blooming fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Plus they both blodge, so that makes it tricky to deal with. The good thing is, of course, he does have the uh, he does have the strength for a blodger holding it. So even if even if they get a two D on him, it's it's either not with tackle, either two D without tackle or a one D with, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. Pretty much all you can hope for from the wolves. Doesn't get the knockdown. Huge. Does take him off the uh, his white, which can then hit this wolf for two with its mighty blow. And tackles. Yep. But it leaves the ghoul no friends. Again, either wolf can get around the backside of this ghoul, but as you pointed out, Jim, for what purpose? Yeah. Just because you can get around the back doesn't mean you'll do anything there. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Come on now, Jim. Come on. It's a perfectly innocent sentence, and you've just made it naughty. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't make anything naughty. You uh -huh, made it uh -huh, naughty, Caleb. Uh -huh. You you know what you did, young man. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I just <laughs> chuckled. I just so chuckled. the stun solves that, gives him a couple of turns where the, the wolf fear is almost not there, isn't it? That's, mm -hmm. uh, that's a really nice position for him to be in. Yeah. Hello, if I may. Oh, dear. Wow, starting with a one eh? Mmm. Brave choices. Yeah. Perhaps uh, either <laughs> a misreading of the situation or just uh, just realizing they want to they want to get a bit lucky in this situation. Nice stun. But I mean a bit late really. But, um, I mean I I I'm, I think the undead will be very happy it wasn't worse than that. Yeah. As we all know, when you traditionally when you re-roll a dub skull into oh. anything, you usually get a cans. <laughs> but I mean, you can you can dodge both of these guys off because they've both got dodge. So you know you can get the guard in there. You can hit that wrestle with the uh, with the wolf. That's pretty good, isn't it? You've got this guy can move up. This guy can run back. You can get a decent amount. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's not terrible. I mean, it's pretty terrible, but it's not as bad as you would think. <laughs> Just for all the conspiracy theorists and, and you know lunatics and people that read Reddit out there, I was joking, obviously. Mm -hmm. Claw mighty the mummy. That seems mental. Oh, yep, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> what? It's block onto no block. Oh god, he hasn't even done it right. Can he, no, can could he have it... done it right? I don't think he could. He's do done it. two into one. Mm. I don't think, I think he's the it. best he could do, actually, Jim. Yeah, yeah I don't think he could do it. Oh, God. Yeah. <sighs> so there's two into one. Well, here we go. Hey! That gets him on the one. Good old frenzy opportunities. God, I really, I really much preferred zombie on there, go back. Guard comes in, like, there, maybe, and then you blitz this guy. No, I really like that. Just, like, you know, getting stuff around and back and in the way rather than just... Giving up, but what you're missing, Jim, is he's knocked both mummies over, which is a huge moral victory. It yeah, is true, true. Yep. And uh, also, I mean, he could have been looking at the sport state and saying, "Well, I'm kind of boned here for this drive, so let's see if I can get rid of some mummies for the game." Well, the interesting thing is he now isn't, because of course he can leave these two mummies behind. One isn't getting up for two turns; the other one mm -hmm. isn't doing anything for two turns. Even with its break tackle, it's not going anywhere this next turn. The other wolf will be unstunned next turn, so he'll suddenly have two wolves and a decent utility white available. And there's not that much undead to stop him. There's only four of them. Mm -hmm. Which is why the dodger it was even better, right? Yeah. Because like, then he could have had the zo a zombie here, a white there, a ghoul there, and hitting him. Like he could have got, yeah. he could have been outnumbering him. Like it's really weird that he just didn't. And particularly as, as that, if he can keep them anywhere near where they are. There's a strength for a zombie and a flesh golem to join next turn. Mm. I, yeah, he can't, can he? He's just decided he'll get in front of it, but... Now they just run off to the top left corner, surely. Mm -hmm. Just cage? Like, that seemed well able to do something worthwhile, you know, like if it was elves or whatever, fair enough, they'll just roll two pluses so it's not worth it, so just claw mighty something, but claw mighty isn't, just isn't that good, right? If it was claw pommel mummy, then maybe um, yeah. claw pommel mummy, but when it's just claw mighty, 
You know, even like looking to get lucky. Yeah. 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 Well, you're more likely that than 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 you than if you didn't have the, that specific combo skill. But yes, um, you do need the mighty blow to or the piling on to make it. Um, you know, reliable. we are running away to the corner. Okay. Yeah, it seems good, doesn't it? Yes. I mean, the sidestep means it's incredibly strong, strength four, and it can't be served, so it's it's fine. Yes, giving up the score for attempting attrition, like, just seems... And your attrition that you're attempting the, to give up the score for is one claw mighty hit. Like, do you know what I mean? Giving up a score for four claw palm hits and three fouls <laughs> seems a lot better than giving up the score for a claw mighty hit. Like, I just... Not actually sure the goal there adds particularly much, except it's surfable itself. Yeah. Oh, I, I hated it. Fair enough. Wow, these these blitzes have been pathetic from both sides, mm. really. They really have. Rose on a re-roll as he's got one spare for next turn anyway, so why not? Still gets nothing. Yep. Gets the knockdown, though! Mighty blow, fake skill. Go there. Yes, which means even if the wolf does go to surf the ghoul, it's you know not likely to end up well for the wolf. So probably doesn't even bother going near the ball. Mm. Again, that utility zombie looks ooh, right there, and right there is sometimes handy. Oh, you can get to the white as well, can't you? I guess he's just going to blitz this white. With Claw Mighty, right? If he's going to not. Now he's just now he's deciding to go near the ball for some reason after not bothering last turn. Like, that's the thing, you know? Like, why yeah. Why give up the drive if you're not going to go for it next turn as well? Like, if you. Okay, well, he gets this guy. No, I'd forgotten about the names on these teams. They're yeah, fun. they're pretty great team yeah. player names. Not Scrocket. Winning Chalice. <laughs> losing £30. Oh my god, I've just gone really tired now. I do apologise. <laughs> no worries. Uh, sorry, my apologies as well. I'm uh, still painting toys, so uh, I should probably put it this away. But while the paint is still wet, I kind of want to use it, and uh, then I'll be with you. <laughs> In the meantime, we'll rely on uh, PC. Brilliant. Hello, PC. And there must be some children at the door. Yep. <laughs> it's all gone to ratchet. <laughs> So thanks for coming along, everybody. Um, <laughs> I should probably look at the game. Um, yeah, so did get that nice uh, KO, but uh, not really putting a huge amount of pressure on the ball. It still turns. Uh, oh no, he's just gonna. He's just gonna go straight in next turn. He's not gonna even do anything else, is he? No. Yeah. Your old quicks aren't tight. Probably not. No. No. Certainly not if it involves any risk at all. Yeah. And it looks like both the mummies will be on the ground. Mm -hmm. Might be able to get something with the white and the guard zombie. Have a little knock back at that. Lodge guard, mighty blow, white. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> really nice. But uh, no damage on the um, on the mummy there means that he's going to be able to go and hit something with that mighty blow white whenever he wants. He's going to use his zombie here to get a, a speculative foul in. See what happens. Oh, got to get the run up. Not nah, doing. So, do you take any hits here, lads? Yes, um. I, I, I think the the white on white action is worth having a go at. Mm -hmm. Possibly even the white on the the wolf. White on the wolf, yeah. No, that was it's very crazy. hard to get one, two, three, four, five. So that would have been a go for it, Jim. So no, no, oh, this one. Fair. This That's way, exactly. okay, this way it works. Yeah. So you go with the zombie first, and then you can do it. Yeah. It does mean two hits instead of one. 
that that's probably fine. You still got the reroll. Gets the pound. He does indeed. I will die. <laughs> Sorry, did that come out? I thought that was yeah. Some the flashbacks wolf to the, uh, <laughs> yeah, flashbacks to the old uh, the the Devo game from last season. No, I've just always hated them. Yeah. <laughs> the of course, wolf it's completely thing. fine. Oh, the wolves live forever, Jim. You know that. Yep. Yeah. No one has ever hurt a wolf in the history of Blood Bomb. Other people, except, yeah. except mine. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Other people's wolves, invincible. Fucking hippie pitch clearing me uh, uh, bloody at the end of it. We, you know, say, funny enough, saying about the Undead versus Necro matchup, we played like you know it was season one of UK BBL when they moved to Blood Bowl two, and so it was right. like a nine game season. Okay. And uh, I got the final against Hippie, and he had Necro and I had Undead, and he pitch cleared me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which is wow. Which is pretty impressive. A pretty that impressive is dicing. That is. Yeah. yeah. Well done, Hippie. Mm. It's odd, isn't it? But whenever someone says Bleeding Hippie, I don't instantly think name. But I usually catch on. Even yeah. words later. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> <clears throat> correct. It kind of sounds like something uh, Alexi Sale would have said. Yeah, I just I grew up very much in a generation where that yeah. was common language. Yeah, indeed, mm -hmm. yeah. Bleeding Hippies. <laughs> Way. Presumably that's where he got it from, right? Probably, yeah. yeah. Not dissimilar to uh, Thomas T and his naming of um, his teams as incompetent plays insert scene season. Yeah, that, so, I think that was because of Artemis, wasn't it? Incompetent plays. It was, it was, it was cru Crucifer. Crucifer, Crucifer. Uh, yeah. Artemis was somebody, somebody uh, else was Artemis. Was that Malala Noose, wasn't it? Malala Noose was shockingly bad. Was shockingly bad. That's yeah. Right. That was that was out of this, and then incompetent place was Cruz. <laughs> Glad that we've got such a great community, isn't it? Incompetent I know, right? Community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. And then to keep it up, obviously, for thirty seasons, because the joke's always best when it's stretched to the point where it can't actually be. I can. You know, I visible. One hundred percent. Yeah. No. Definitely. You want to continue to rehash the joke for as long as you can. Um. You know, just it's so just uh, it, it, it continues to um, provide mirth to everybody as it ages badly. Yeah, yeah. not even that good. Unsubbed. Well said, Steve. Yeah, Monster. exactly that. Well yeah, done. that was a classic, an instant classic. That one. Mm -hmm. Indeed, the uh, our use of Elliot Challenge last weekend was pretty oh, fucking was fantastically funny. Yeah. That was brilliant. Yeah, it's a you know you know you're like you're properly after reaching peak, uh, peak uh, annoyance when he calls you uh, despicable bastards. <laughs> I mean, I thought he was joking at the start because I mean he did challenge himself to do it. It's it's fine uh, to use uh, that, those words. I mean, that... he, he, it was a challenge upon him, but I mean he just had to keep on playing because the team was just shit, and it was just another fifty games. Here we go. He didn't want to play that many games, so it is kind of funny that people are talk, calling it a challenge. Oh, the Elliot challenge. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So it, in it which is... he challenged himself to develop <laughs> a good Nurgle team. Hey, there you go. By playing yeah. it a lot of times. Yeah. yeah. Rather, so instead of just giving up on the team instantly, like he should yeah. have done, you know, like he started yeah. off terribly, didn't he? Like he started yeah. off with you know, like loads of losses or whatever, like you know, like three, yeah. one, four or something, where you yeah. should do, and it just It'll proves why you should bin off the team if you start It'll that bad. It'll be fine. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. just, it's just the no exact opposite of a Jimmy forever. response. Jimmy doesn't deal with that yeah. Jimmy doesn't deal with ah. Didn't even wait for adversity <laughs> to come out. Just, that's it, done. Yeah, uh, done. Good, Fuck good. it. Concede yeah, turn yep. two. Get that's on to the next one. Go. Have you actually used all your fives for the season? Uh, no, I think I've only used two. Okay. But I'm not going to play anymore anyway, so it's okay. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to have three more goes at Rick. You don't have <laughs> to do anything you want that you don't want to do. That's absolutely fine. Exactly. Yeah. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, you can. Yeah. The classic, uh, the classic line from uh, Parks and Rec. No, uh, the boys. Oh, the boys. Yeah. Oh man, is not I can do whatever the fuck I want. As he's spaffing up the top of a building. <laughs> I was going to say, at the time he is wanking off over New York in the air. <laughs> um, is that also how we should picture you, Jim? Yep. Okay, good. <laughs>
Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never say never. But, you know, for the time being, you don't have to do anything you don't want to. That's totally fine. I've never had to do anything I didn't want to. <laughs> maybe I should have done. Way too many times, Kaylor. Maybe, don't maybe. You don't have to do anything you don't want to, it's fine. You know, maybe I should have done things I didn't want to, but I never called the police like you did last time. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You don't have to do anything you don't want to, and I'll That's pay right. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the safe word is uh, get over my house. Oh, I thought it was broccoli. Yeah. If the safe word was broccoli, then we should all have been listening to every single time anybody asked you what you were eating. Exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, insight. <laughs> He's been calling for help all the long life. Yeah. What are you eating, Jim? I'm eating broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> yep. Okay, that one was 16 and said hi in a way that definitely wasn't okay. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I wish one of my kids was home by this time of night. Yeah. And the one before, probably about 14, and I said, look, I haven't got much candy left, it's one each. She took five and said, but I'm taking for my sisters. <laughs> I said, oh, where are your sisters? She went out home. Well, she cow. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I mean, you start off with all the cute ones and you love them, but at this time of night, it's teenagers and they're just horrible. Yeah. <laughs> teenagers are horrible. They are. Yeah. I wish I, I was still a teenager. Particularly like mine. Got away with being a horrible prick. <laughs> so we're not getting the attrition yet on this prick, LOS, yeah. are we? It's a different type of. Except the one prick. we've killed. Yeah, ex except the attrition that we did get. Um, we haven't yeah. got any. And but yeah, not a good player. He's got the dirty player to come though, and then obviously the next LOS to follow yeah, up. Yeah, I don't mind putting the mummies at risk. I don't know why the white was in the middle. Do you? No, I don't like putting the mummies at risk. To be honest. Yeah. Jim, I guess Jim. he's trying to trust the AV9, but oh, oh, this is. I yeah, not respect that's, one. That's turns. not a good thing. Oh my no. god! Another failed region. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's well. That's a worthwhile trade. Yeah. Uh, but Jim has uh, absolutely no respect for the one turn, and uh, as a result, would probably have a, you know, an, an alive white. Yeah. Yeah, but he'd also have a gaping hole in the middle of his team, which someone with a decent. You know, riot or one turn attempt could just drive home through. Indeed. Yeah, but I mean, they, they just don't have one, right? They've got they've no. got move it, edge three, dodge, yeah. sidestep. Like it's just not yeah, a yeah. good one turn. That's it's right to not root. like okay that you know obviously I did make a mistake in screws with the hole, but like as long as you just back line without gaps, it's fine. Yep. You know, I think yep. I'm pretty sure that's the correct even five one. across the back. You don't even need to necessarily be, you know, one mm. apart, do you? Yeah, exactly. No, I didn't like putting that much up at risk. I, I, no. I still, I can find ways of justifying the mummies being there because they're huge strength and how difficult it is and the amount you have focus you have to put to take them down. And the stand firm means that you know they shouldn't then be that fallible and you can choose if the, they go. But putting the white there, I thought was foolish. Have you stand firm on any so you wanted? Yeah, you stand firm. Yeah, yeah three, well, not anymore. Down, but... Yeah. yeah. But, you know, that's the thing. People do that. But No, if this guy was actually Edge 4, if, if the size yeah. that was Edge 4, then yeah. fair enough. Yeah. But yeah, then not. That, that he might have forgotten not. that he was Edge up, Edge down. Yeah. But, yeah. Even Edge 4, with, without a sidestep, I don't, I'm not that scared of the move 8 one turn. Well, it's that because he's also got the frenzy. Bear in mind, he could have um, blitzed through the back line. He could have done. He could have done. Yeah, you can frenzy... Without blitzing, can't you? And yep. then still have your blitz, I suppose. Yep. But it's, as Jim said, it's all pretty unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot more likely that he just fucks you over by casting somebody important. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Which, sure enough, <laughs> then there were happened. nine. Yeah. Uh, rather unfortunate overall. Um, yeah. However, we've only got uh, only got ten necromantic, and they are down. Um, but I, I, my worry here is that we end up with whoever goes through. It just doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, it's it's weird because well, because like the the like quite high TV teams, aren't they? But like yeah, just, they are. Yeah, neither of them are setting the world on fire. But 
It's definitely down. Uh, Crag seventy nine is definitely down less quality, right? He's, he is down a fleshy, but it's a rookie fleshy, so it's not that not that bad. Yep. Whereas you know, Bloodstep Ghoul and the uh, the really nice white are big losses for Toast Guy, and then really also are, he's yeah. down total numbers as well. So yeah, this is uh, looking not great for him. I mean, he still is one up, but uh, yeah, it depends if he can manage to weather the storm. And I, I don't know. I suppose Toast Guy at this stage will be working out whether or not. Um, he can get some more removals and go in early and do it in normal time or not. Yes, whether he can weather the storm. Yeah. In, turn of, in terms of the next game, though, the, the undead have lost the better of their two whites. Yeah. And the necro have only lost a wrestle zombie. Yeah. So the chal chalice equity certainly has been hampered, mm. but um, but but the game is still in the balance. Hmm. Well, there's still definitely space for one of these two to just remove the other one. Yeah. And at 10-9, it could happen either way. But obviously, with yeah. two walls hitting, you've got to slightly back the Necro from here, don't you? I think so. Yeah. Which point, maybe giving up on the drive and just looking for a chip was the right play? Mm. Yeah, but I think if he'd committed, if he'd done it earlier and committed more to it, you know, like I just thought yeah. it was weird when it was that close. Like there was actually a time, there was actually a chance to get in the way and stop it, and he was like, "Nah," <laughs> you know, like he yes, knocked down. Yes, it was half and half until the time where it, that was perhaps useful, and then it suddenly wasn't. Yeah, that, that's yeah, it, it was some odd choices, but it's still this still very much anyone's game, yeah. and yet instinctively I feel I want to be the necro here right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. I would well, that certainly helps as well, keeping the numbers uh, going away. Yep. Well, at the undead again towards a critical point. They are, aren't they? Yeah, Necro are like the best team to be up men as well. Like I think, yeah. like you know, once they get ahead, it's yeah, it's just insane because they actually get to tee off with their frenzy guys instead of not being able to tee off with them. Like it's just such a great thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, well, when when they're fighting for space, they can really struggle a bit. When they're dominating <clears> the space, they're just all over you. And those frenzies come in from every angle, doing whatever they want, and you, you just feel powerless. Because they're so quick, and yet they've got strength that can just sit there as well. It's, it's an evil combo when it works. They are a really fun team. Uh, have you played much Necromantic PC? I've played against them a lot. Um, yes. Due to a weird thing, I don't coach a lot of dead teams. Oh. Mm. Is, it, is it because they're not dwarves? <laughs> no. It just no, it, it, turns so it's, out our mums were right. So I did a lot of role play, um, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons as a child, and almost all of it as a paladin. Oh I, yes, you are a paladin, aren't you? Yeah. Dead things just feel wrong to me. They're they're the bad guys. Yeah, and is is it as well because they're not dwarves? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've actually had a lot of success with Kemri. I, I don't mind coaching Kemri for some reason. They don't feel like they're bad to me. But Necromantic and Undead do feel like they're on the wrong side. They're, they're the bad, the bad guys. guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you and you and um, Morgan Thorg both agreeing that uh, we shouldn't play for those guys. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Steve. <laughs> and also, of course, they're not dwarves, so fuck them. <laughs> Is that what you want to hear, Jim? Yeah. Has that made the world made sense to you? Yep. Thank not you. I'm a beautiful, complex person with other sides to me. Oh. If you if you were ever to play, um, uh, well, playing with Kemri as well would make sense because not only do they get um, uh, Ben Wan, um, but they also get Scroll Half Right, Half Right. Yes. So there you go. You got the best of both worlds. The... Actually, the Pony Run, which is the one where you get allocated a random star. Yeah. And I was allocated uh, Ithaca, so oh, to, which, cool. to which I added Humorous Carpal. Brilliant. So I had an Agility 3 Nerves of Steel dump off player and yeah. an Agility 3 Nerves of Steel catch the player. Catch guy. Yeah, brilliant. And suddenly I had Kemri with a passing game. Wow. Um, because, you know, I wanted to be able to express my inner elf. Good man. There you go. I, I thought you quite liked Kemri because they were the only team where the coach was younger than the players. <laughs> <laughs> um, boom, no, boom. I, I think probably it's the reason I can get over my death aversion with them is because they are a control team. They're very much about space or control. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And that's something I flatter myself I'm all right at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lads who, um, yeah, kind of uh, control the board and uh, when given an opportunity will take space. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, the Hallmark PC plays. Yeah. 
I, I would say the Necro Burn matches are like the Heavy Bash teams, but like they can still just dice them out with the claws. But yep. the, if they don't dice them with the claws, then the Heavy Bash match, like Orcs and stuff, you know, they can, they can slaughter Orcs, you know, but they're also they're mm -hmm. general they're generally tough, like the the Heavy Bash teams. I mean, as you've said a lot, Jim, and I think it's it's wiser than people give you credit for. Um, you don't need five claw mighty blows to, to lead a team. You need one. You need to use it right, and you need it to fire, but you actually can do it fine with one. Yeah. Now, that said, do I want to roll into a team with four chaos mighty blow <laughs> warriors and two claw bombers? No, because that's a lot harder and they can do it easier. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of things they can't do, a lot of builds they're not going to be equipped against. Whereas Necro also get to have some elf fighting skills and, you know, just other bits and bobs, don't they? They're an absolute nightmare for rats as well. Yeah, they're, a, is, they're, you know, they're yeah. a good team for not having bad matchups. That's why, you know, with the Hewlander, that's why I started a Necromantic team this season, or attempted to start a Necromantic team this season, because I thought they're pretty much immune to getting sniped. You know, like, okay, the, the Chaos teams, like the big Chaos teams and the big Nurgle teams aren't going to be great, but you can still yeah. win those matches, right? You've, you can have, like, yeah. 15 players, you can have dirty players, so you've got loads of regen, you've got loads of disposable players, and you've got loads of dirty player and stuff so they don't really want to pile on they definitely don't want to pile on against a zombie anyway and then if they're going to get mm. fouled by a dirty player they really don't want to get they really don't want to pile on so you so you've got like they've got a pretty decent matchup against the heaviest teams and then obviously versus rats and that they're pretty good because the wolves are really fast so yeah they're, they're really pretty good yeah like obviously Another. you can't choose zones if you're the hewlander you can't use zones because you get sniped by dwarves if you're dwarves yeah. you get sniped by chaos you know yeah. if, if so so like if Although you whatever you want it with, you don't have to keep playing that. You just have to keep playing. In no, some true, but could... it's it's better if you keep playing a, a two thousand TV team that will just stomp yes, anything. Much harder to snipe. Yeah, you know um, what you don't want is to play a thirteen hundred team that then just everyone who's got an eighteen hundred team will just shit on it with a five hundred TV advantage. Like that's what you don't need, yeah. right? So I wanted to play one team predominantly, and I think Necro are the best for that because even if you've got like a horrible chaos team that nobody wants to tangle with, like you know, Wood Elves could just easily beat them, can't they? Like. Yep. It's another it's another way I'm broken, to be honest. I've had about four times where I could have activated when Rick was activating. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't make myself do it. I just didn't. It didn't feel right. But I'm, and Rick was saying, "No, no, come do it, come do it." And I still, yeah, I don't know. Well, you just didn't like the idea of sniping him. Yeah, I'm just. Okay. It doesn't feel. I don't know. I don't. Fair know. enough. Yeah, no, that's okay. I I certainly wouldn't inflict my morality on anyone else when it comes to gaming. No, for sure, but it it wasn't right for you. Yeah, yeah, which is it's wrong, isn't it? Because the whole thing is it's fine. We've you know we've decided that we're all going to do that. Mm. I mean, it is just a bit of fun. But if it's something that you don't feel comfortable with, then don't do it. Well, yeah. I didn't. So yes, yeah. I'm comfortable yeah, exactly. with that. But yeah, good for you. I never said I wasn't broken. <laughs> it's, um... I would have, I would have hit this. I would have hit this for uh, mummy. By the way, could have hit that with all my. Yeah, I so. yeah, I like that. But then I'm all about, you know, that. With a, I'd accompany that with an aggressive move up into that space up the side. Yes, yeah, Using exactly. my flesh to secure it, and you know I'm all about that. But, yeah. um... Even I would have been we, there. We're coming the other way, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, the, the flip side of that is you can tag it with a trash zombie. Yeah. The one that's on the far left as we're looking. Yeah. And then that mummy might be out of the drive. I mean, it might be, but the problem is, it might also just cause you the zombie one. that you've tagged it with, and then, yeah. Yeah. And then you, you're losing the advantage that you had in the bash war. Or two plus off it and just knock you again. <clears throat> yeah, you could just break tackle away, yeah. You know, that, that would be the elf answer. Oh, you put something on me. Bye. Yeah. That zombie is oh, that would be my answer. great for being able to go and do that type of thing, though. The horrible, dirty work. You wouldn't want to put many linemen just shove them on a fucking troll or something, but zombies are great for that. Mm. Basically, you're saying that zombies are the Irish of the British Empire. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends for everybody, so it's fine. I'll allow, I'll allow him to say this to me. But yes, well done. I'm not saying how we treated you was okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks, thanks for building the empire. That's... Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, if it wasn't for, uh, you know, giving us a famine, we wouldn't have gone and uh, helped all the rest of the world uh, do all of the things like America. So, you know, I mean, if anything, you know, we should be thankful to our British overlords for having uh, starved us. I do like the word overlord. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought you might. I thought you might. <laughs> yeah, so that's a good word, isn't it? Yeah. 
It's, it's funny as well. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't matter. No, this was all, again, for our, our Americans listening, that was called irony and sarcasm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he was aware when I said it that I was Indeed. riffing on how appalling that was, not actually celebrating it in any way. Correct. Yeah. So the 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 humour is in how inappropriate it is for both yes. of us to have had the conversation. Yes, absolutely. And uh, not at all uh, the, the the content of said conversation. Which, had it been in a pub in Dublin, would see me now um, feared. I think is <laughs> well, probably the, the word I'd pick. <laughs> to be honest with you, we probably would have bought you a couple of pints. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the balls for, of it. For the balls of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah that guy's all right by me. Yeah. Um, I, well, I okay, well, this, that's also, quite big. Also bad yeah. 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 I, I was just going to say I didn't like where he grabbed him to, and then he removed him, so it didn't matter. Yeah. Could go for the fleshy with a mighty blow. Like, it's not great, because obviously you might get stuck. Like... Obviously, this is the obvious move, isn't it? Because you've already got the assist, so like blitzing him is fine. But then also, you could bring the mummy up there, block him, stand him up, and oh, he'd already stood up. Okay, well, that makes hitting the front the fleshy less good. Yeah. But he could hit the fleshy like it. He might want to. Because obviously, removing the fleshy is better than removing the uh, zombie, isn't it? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd, he should have blitzed the should have blitzed the mummy with a wolf, as far as I'm concerned. Pick squeak, so I just thought it was a bad move. So not going up the left means that there was more chance for things to respond, and now we're we're not in as good a position as we could have been in. Mm. Although, of course, pushing up the left this early could bring its own problems. So grass yeah, is always greener on the other a side. A little early, because mm. you don't want to quite be because you might end up having to be down around the sideline by twelve. Yeah, Which is not with two mummies do. bearing down on you. Exactly. With stand firm. Yeah, but also you could have cast that mummy from you. <laughs> yes, sure. yeah, you that were, could but... have happened too. Or Angelina Jolly could have knocked on the door and said, why are you wasting your time with this game when you should be with me? I mean, there's just a myriad of different futures and we'll never know which of them they should have lived to. I think that one is significantly less likely. Sorry, sorry to break it to you, PC. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Well, I'm a dreamer, Jim. You may be a hater, but I'm a dreamer. Yeah, wow. I mean, you know, why so mean, bro? Why are you sipping on the haterade, Jim? Sorry, you know, it's just significantly less likely that one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What, the wow. Kazing and Mummy? I'm not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know it's it's hard I mean, to get you, wrap your head around. Sure. It might not Particularly have, if we're adding the regen in. I just... on, but wow. Yeah. <laughs> not that unlikely. <laughs> It's not that Ooh. unlikely. I like that. Yeah. Why not? You've got a strength for ghoul. Put its TV to use. Ooh, that's <clears> the <throat> that's the doorbell. I'll just check to see if it's the entirety of girls allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. Okay. I think one thing, all of them's a bit greedy. A, a little bit, yeah. Maybe he just wants them to sign his um, his almanac. Almanac. Oh. It actually, it actually wasn't girls allowed. Um, oh. But you know, there isn't a dead mummy either, so I guess they were equally likely to happen. Yep, <laughs> proven. <laughs> right, so we've got two wolves on the ground. That massively limits our ability to go anywhere and do anything. One of them's on tackle, so that's not good. We really don't want to use a reroll getting it off. Um. <laughs> I mean, we can leverage the ghoul moving the tackle white off, can't we? But it means putting the lodge guard white on one of the mummies. Mm. Or you could put the, you could run him around. You could run him around, put him in here. Yes, yeah, you can do it that way, yeah. Or like, just put the strength four in there. I mean, it, it does put him on the tackle ghoul, but then you've know, got to be on something if it's going to happen. You could just put this guy. You could put this guy in here and do something. Strength four. The point is, if you really want that wolf up, you can leverage the tackle off him, so it is. Yeah. You know, more realistic. It's a one in nine him getting out because yeah. you really don't want to use rerolls on it if you can avoid it. You could blitz with. You could blitz with the white. Yeah. Type victory. You could blitz with the white, couldn't you? You could just put the strength four wolf in, put him in there, blitz him, chain him off, and then get him off without even a dodge. Yeah. 
is pretty. I mean, I like that because I like hitting ghouls, and I particularly like hitting ghouls with tackle. Doesn't even need mighty blow. Yeah. But I want that wolf up ASAP. Well, if you want to get him off, you have to hit him with tackle. Way. Hey. We're not doing any of that, though. We are attempting to snipe a zombie on the far side. Mm. He's also somewhere about eight players now, the Necromantic, versus yeah. eight for the undead, so equal numbers. Yes. Well, we did say at the start of the half, because, I mean, we are geniuses that can predict these things. But this could still swing either way with a couple of removals. Mm. I think I'd still rather be the Necromantic. It's not their best position, but they've still got all of that speed. Yeah. And importantly, the ball. Yeah. Boss. Yeah. They're one nil down. Yeah. 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 And there are some big butts in this. Way. You know, one of the wolves is still going to get a bit isolated. That cage has no back door on it, and there's ghouls around. Yeah. Oh, I think I'd have advanced there. Because if the mummy gets a push, you can tie up at least one more hit, which you might need. It's, uh, it's tackled. Mm. But he wishes he was agility for. Bet oh, it's not that yeah. yeah. Can't reroll this, can he? No, he can't, I don't think. I don't think so. I mean, wolves Gosh. are quick enough that he'll still have to, to tag it on I'm... the ground, so it's still doing a job on the ground. I, honestly, I, I think I might have just, in case of the armor break, to be honest with you, I think uh, it's kind of it's it's so because we're discussing it, it's kind of finally finally balanced here. And, three uh, rerolls against three rerolls, yeah. guaranteed going into overtime. I think you've got to let that go, Caleb. You I, either I, 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 you either I, I just agree. leave him on the ground, or you or you yeah. dodge and don't reroll because you 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 your best case scenario is going to overtime here. You know. Yeah. So you yeah. can't no, I, you can't reroll it. You just can't. I, I agree with you. I just think that I would have spent a little bit of time. I would have taken the time to just discuss, to think about it, and mm -hmm. I think I would have been worried about that. But then, you know, ghouls allowed. Oh yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, that's great. I like that. That's good. Yeah, nice. Ghouls allowed. Oh man, that's enough to make me play blood ball again. Just no, in isn't. case, no, just really. in case they all turn up in my house. You know, yeah. it could happen. <laughs> but, yeah. It couldn't. <laughs> It couldn't. There's literally zero chance. <laughs> there's the same. There's the same chance as Angelina Jolie turning up at PC's house. <laughs> like we live in a world where I mean, you play Blood Bowl, right? You've seen weird shit happen. Like, so you can't say something is zero chance. You can. Yeah, you really can. You really can. And you loves kids. Yeah. I'm a parent. You really she has a history can. of getting with actors. It's, 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 I'm just saying it's not impossible, Jim. There it is go. impossible. I'm with, I'm, with, I'm with you, PC. I'm with you. It is impossible. 100% never going to happen. Let, don't let the bad Geordie ruin your dreams. <laughs> I've seen I've seen 14 million futures. How many of them are Angelina Jolie with purple chest? None. <laughs> <laughs> just means we haven't looked hard enough, Jim. <laughs> In an infinite multiverse, there is a future where we're together. Brad. What, you and me? And Brad doesn't mind. <laughs> Actually, there's probably more where you and I are together. Let's not let's not go into that. That's probably more likely of the two. And that's just the uh, Fault Forces fanfic, though. <laughs> that's, that's way more likely than either of us with Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I was here for this to finally be out in the open. <laughs> but again, I mean, the undead have put this into quite a nice little position. Yeah, yeah. He's the strength four wolf isn't nothing, going anywhere. Um, I mean, the mummies are kind of irrelevant, but that's fine. We've got tackle on the ball carrier. The ball carrier is only strength three. It can't blitz out. I mean, it can, but it's a three plus. Mm -hmm. If it gets free and doesn't have any help, the strength four tackle ghoul is just sitting there going come on then what are you doing about me <laughs> and the wolf that's down is mummied oh ah, you see i'd have i'd have used the mummies as a screen and put the other mummy up higher but instead just put it on the ball that's ruined everyone's day mm. wow <laughs> well i'm open, open to ideas here but 
what the hell do you do other than potato the ball and somehow hope that either the tackle white or the tackle ghoul doesn't kill you? Yep, I mean, you're I'm dodging with him. You may be blitzing. You're either blitzing with a wolf or this wolf. Like either wolf's blitzing. And then you're just dodging and passing to the whichever wolf you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. Okay, that's fine. I mean, you can blitz out backwards with the strength wolf. That's probably the safest way out. Yeah. Two hits on non-block. You only need either one to work and you're clear. And then... And then that also The other one can go and assist the zombie and you can knock the guard zombie down and you can have both wolves and the zombie over there. And this guy I mean, over as well. Freeze up him, yeah. right? If you, if you push yeah. your way out there, then that, that gives him a three plus dodge off. Which I'd probably get the ghoul over and do the pass <laughs> first, but if that works, then he can come afterwards. If not, he's doing good, decent work there with his dodge tying up the mummy and his guard tying up the ghoul. Yep. So it is possible, but yes, you need to build a safe spy over the other side of the field and then get the ghoul to a point where he can throw the ball over there. Yeah, I wonder good. if he comes up with the same answer. Hmm. Hello, Goliath! I think that was him thinking about you and me together, Jim. That was Probably, his response yeah. to that. <laughs> It's the only sensible, <laughs> the only sensible reaction, isn't it? Really, let's be honest. It's. it's I. I... <laughs> He is certainly taking his time thinking about this one. It is quite a pickle. It yeah, is he's very much. But in some a version of the solution we came up with seems the only way here. Staying over the left side is suicidal. There's just not enough there to help. Ooh, do you know what? Do you know what's interesting? He could uh, he could punch this 1D first, right? And then see if Toast Guy makes the mistake of sidestepping next to him. Then if he does sidestep next to him, he can punch this guy into the down guy and oh, chain off the oh. uh, chain off the ghoul away from the tackle. That's quite nice. Yeah. Mm. Yes. That is all plausible. <laughs> it does require a, a mistake. He's already got tackle on him. Would he really put the ghoul in there too? He might. He might do. And I he think might. it would be kind of worth it if he did, because then also if he if he if he sidestep somewhere else, you might just get a better dodge away to go further down the field as well. But no, he is doing the the strong wolf out first. Mm. I think that was his most his safest first play. Oh, the fleshy two stood died, up. Two oh. died. Man kids was paying oh, attention, okay. so that yeah, was yeah. a terrible idea because the fleshy yeah. had just stood up. Fleshy had stood up. Okay. Good job, man kids. <laughs> the man kids meat throttle. Mm hmm. It's one of those ones where, because he hadn't done anything else, it hadn't gone red yet, had it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's, and he does put the assist in on the uh, on the guard. The zombie does look like he's trying to get over there somehow. Yeah. Running out of time, though, on the turn here. Yeah. Look. Yeah, really needs to speed this up. You've had the idea, now put it into action. Shame. Dice. Bob's yeah. tackle. Ooh, the reroll. Yep, and then just lob it at the wolf. Yep. Oh god. All the run wrong. out of time too. Diced. Wowee. Uh, and it didn't do the hit on the zombie, which I know was a one in nine, but... Mm. You know, I don't mind the participants uh, taking their time in Chalice on their turns, because you do get the additional minute. But, um, yeah, that maybe, maybe, maybe could have sped that up a bit. Yeah, you shouldn't be running out of time. No. Although it was an incredibly complex turn. It was. It was, it was. But still, you've got to give yourself time to, like, do it, haven't you? You've got to... You've got yes, to at some point, a bad plan something. beats, you know, spending longer and coming out with a good plan you won't have time to do. Exactly, yeah. 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 Oh, Waleed, it's been interesting. It's been interesting. Oh, yeah, grab, very nice. I thought this was terrible assisting from this square, but it's fine because he could have just grabbed him there on a push. Which he grabs him there on a power anyway. And Kazas him. Ooh. Wow, this is some brutal dice here for Crag. Right? Yeah, this has not been a good second half at all, has it? Yeah, he's been pretty much diced out of the second half. After getting pretty much diced out of the first half now, but then randomly getting some Kaz to make it look like he had a chance in the second half, he's been well, diced he out of the second half. He started the second half, I thought ahead. Yeah, he did, yeah, yeah. They've mostly been quick. It was just last turn was like really hard turn, so that's, but he, he almost ran out of time. The good news on that white is it is only badly hurt. It will be back for the next game. 
mm, in open. Um, except. <laughs> gets the huge power on the fleshy. Monster, monster that, innit? Because now he gets the uh, assist in and blitzes the ghoul. Like, if that was a push. Yeah, now he doesn't even, even have to dodge through. the strength four, he can do it with the wide. Yeah, exactly. So that, yeah. that was the right turn ordering, despite the one in nine risk, because it, it creates a much better situation for everything else this turn. Yeah. Just still has to be mindful of these two wolves and the ghoul that's on the ball, so. The yeah. non power here would be interesting. Well, there we go. Yeah. Now, it's a one in nine risk to get off with the ghoul, and it's still a one in nine to pick it up. Yep. I mean, you've got to go for it, though, haven't you? Like, you know, there's a really good spot for, like, the. Well, Either of those puts the necro right back in it. Or you can just go there and screen or something. Yeah. I don't know where, I wonder where he goes. I wonder where the school goes. Depressing opponents. <laughs> <laughs> just around the ball. Fair enough. Makes the dodge. On the dodge goal. Oh, but only on the second. Makes the pick up. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Now it looks really bad. It sure does. And to think we had uh, all pretty much uh, topped the hat to the Necro being in position of power, but it is. It has all turned around. I mean, this is a 1 into a 2, though, from the uh, Strength 4 Blitz. But I mean, it's a versus a Bludger, isn't it? But it's a 1 into 2. Hmm. Oh, no, sidestep, it's not. Okay, he's, he's sidestep. Oh, that's terrible then. It's, it's gonna, 1 into red. It's going to be a 1 into 1. Can't make it a one into two though. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be hard to make even one into one now, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's yeah. one into reds. He he runs around to cancel this assist. He goes there. He goes there. He goes up and cancels this assist. So you can make it so it's a one into one. But then you've got nothing to react afterwards. Yikes. Yeah, you can probably also come with the wolf. I mean, it adds a dodge in. But then it's one into reds, and it neither of them have tackle. It's all pretty bleak. But if you need a 6, it's better than needing, you know, a 1 in 36 to fail sure. the opposite direction. You should probably still have a shot at it. Ugh, hello. <laughs> Just roll the dice. <laughs> like, it's not great. I think is it? this is going to be another full three minute one, Jim. He's I waiting for something so. good to occur to him. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's going to take longer than there is in the universe. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's nothing good happening this turn. He's waiting right. for that knock on the door from Angelina and it ain't coming. <laughs> not today. <laughs> <clears throat> I think he's forgotten sidestep here which is you see because this was my this was he's my trying one to frenzy into two. into two isn't yeah he? this was my one into two idea this is exactly Reds my one into, into two idea yeah because you, you can block there and then you can go one into two right That that. but then I realised then I realised the sidestep so then I thought well one into one's doable but you'd have to have this guy here I mean, in the goo round there. Just get him in the first hit, right? Yeah, you could, you could, but it's a one dice. Get him on the reds. <laughs> or red, reds, no, what one dice is better than reds, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, one it is, nine, but it's... One six. But then I guess you'd have another reds, where you'd have two, one in, you'd have two reds then. Yeah, oh yeah. This, so this is still reds. No, this is one into reds, yeah. Yeah. Oh, doesn't... No, it isn't. It's one inter stays there. Yeah. Well, there's worse things. Yeah. But yeah, I wonder if... I wonder if the Reds in the Reds have more chance of a knockdown with having tackle on, like, you know, having tackle on the, the sec... on the follow-up Reds. I don't know. Don't know. I mean, my instinct is a, a one in six is probably about as good as you were going to get there. Yeah, I think I think the one in the uphill was better.
Get them on the second. I think that's the re-roll of someone that thinks they've won and won't need them in overtime. I'm inclined to agree with your assessment. Yep. Yep. Correct. And um, with that in mind, I think um, those guy may be correct as well. Yep. Yes, I agree with his assessment as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Correct. This uh, utility um, zombie's been great, hasn't he? Yeah, it was. Yeah. The number of times he hung it out, hung it out to dry, and the wolves had a decent crack at killing. They him. did, yeah. But it has been really, really useful. I love that there's been five chasm not regen. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> so it is Toast Guy who's down his uh, star uh, uh, white, right? Is that a cage? Not not much of a cage, is it? But it's a... Uh... It's a parry cage. <laughs> it's a parry cage. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's actually in some ways much more lethal than a cage. It's a trap, isn't it? It's a saw <laughs> film. <laughs> you think you can hit the ghoul, but because he sidesteps at his strength, strength four, it's going to end up with red dice. Anything you it's do is going to... You know, you're going to be cutting your own arm off and then realising it was your brother all along. <laughs> I mean, he can he can do it right. He can uh, he can two D the guard away, which yeah. is nice. He wants to yeah. pallet on the first hit, and then he can blitz this guy, and then he, then he's got an assist. Yeah, yeah. So he could even do the blitz first. Oh god, yeah. He really wanted to pal him. He really wanted to pal him. So now he's just fucked. But you can't. I mean, uh, maybe have to re-roll it because. Uh, this maybe. is the turn where it looks like you might get it a two is, die yeah. on the ball. But... Yeah, I think I think you do this one first to see if this is a pow first, right, on the two die. Because yep. if the, if this is a pow, then you're cancelling the. Oh no, you're cancelling the assist anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so, yeah. So you do that. You do that hit first anyway, because it's just it's going to work. So now it's reds instead of a nice one die. Yeah. And now, now because you can no, no, yeah, nothing, nothing's cancelling that. So yeah, you had to see if you powered it first. So I'd have done that hit first to see if I've just rolled a pow because I'm cancelling yeah. this one, right? Yeah. Th then I could have re-rolled that, and then uh, then it's what? The you other could way around. This is now this a even re-roll, and I've got a decent chance. Mm. Whereas yeah, the, the way he did is... it. Yeah. So now he's That's got. Now. Well, he has That's a two just... into one now, right? Oh no, it's because it's. No, he's got an uphill into yeah, an uphill. It's a... Yeah, and that block was one, 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 one in top. He's hit the, he's hit the other yeah, guy. He the other the... guy. Oh, yeah, because he took the. Oh, really? That's an oh, uphill yeah. strength four. He, he, yeah, okay. he had to power this guy. He had to power this guy yeah, to yeah, get yeah. one D. It's a one in nine to get you know the, the double power he needed. Okay, okay. Mm. I mean, the minute he took the one die at the back on the white, he knew he wasn't going for the ball because that was his only responsive pickup piece. Yeah. If he was going for the ball, it was a terrible plan because it was his only responsive pickup piece. However, he's got it sandwiched between his wolves. Um, it's in a tough spot, the ball, but how the hell do you get it off that piece? I have a feeling Amazon games are going to look a lot like this in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I wonder if this was time to break tackle. Yeah, I think I might have done, but apparently not. Because there was also a lovely chain using the strength four, wasn't there? Yes. Yeah. It could have been the time to actually break tackle. Yeah, it's, that feature is a long way in the future for us on on Blood Bowl. You know, the, the Cyanide Blood Bowl series. Obviously, you can play them on Fumble. Um, Online Blood Bowl, and you can play them on tabletop, but uh, it's going to take a while to get to us in Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> it's a nice hit on the Wolf here, and he's going to be able to stay in contact with the ball for whatever good that does. Hmm. Well, it's pretty nice having Guard next to the ball, isn't it? With the uh, 
which is the strength forwards makes it really hard for uh, these guards make it really hard for anything good to happen for the uh, Necro and of course the Necro have to score it's not good enough to yeah. just not score <laughs> like the Necro behind so he's got to make something happen hello Sangage how are you <laughs> Sangage <laughs> you, you got an uphill here right you got an uphill Oh, that's yep. his, oh no, that's the wrong player. That, that, yep. That's Toast Guy's player. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to uphill with your own ghoul on the ball here. Yeah. Just to help your opponent out. Yeah. yeah. Well, now you just got uphills with tackle, right? Uphill, uphill right. tackle into uphill. Yeah. Uphill into I think uphill. I would have just so, done it last turn, but because it was turn 14 and that was when I was going to be able to get down the field and everything else. But. Yeah, well, I would have done the other hit good. first. See if I rolled a power on the yeah. first block, so I was cancelling that. Then do that yeah. hit and then re-rolled when it wasn't a power because he had to He had to power yeah. that zombie. He just mm -hmm. had to. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have done Jimmy's plan, Jimmy's way. And, he, I mean, rolling that hit on the zombie first, re-rolling that, I think you still had to. But it's much yeah. harder to do than if you've already got the position set up on the other side. I honestly thought when he hadn't re-rolled it that his plan had been that he had the re-roll for the uphill. Right. Yeah. yeah. But then, but then, you know, didn't. So, I don't know. You can, you can tag the zombie, uh, big squee. You can tag this zombie so it's only six. But yeah. But yeah, you can't stop these two because they're guard, aren't they? Mm-hmm. But you can, uh, you can tag him. And then uphill into an uphill. It's your last chance. Toast guy really leaning into the fact here that he doesn't need to score, doesn't need to go anywhere. As long as that ball stays in that ghoul's hands, he wins. Yeah, for exactly. Sure. Yeah, he doesn't want to make well, any dice that could let him no. get on the ground for free, does he? Absolutely no intention of progressing or trying to score in any way. Love to see it. <laughs> Absolute lack of ambition. Four. <laughs> 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 so I was going to say very much one for the northerners there <laughs> uh, glad to hear it um, yeah sure uh, with an Irish lad uh, Jordy and a, 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 I don't know what type of be beautiful is it RC have you got an RC is, is that what it is an RP what's the accent that uh, PC has my natural accent, it's RP, received pronunciation. Or, yeah, that's right, RP. I wasn't sure which way it was pronounced, or which way the acronym went. But I'm very comfortable in um, in lots of different accents. Indeed, yeah, I've heard you're Pakistani. I mean, you're Welsh. <laughs> I mean, my going to the football accent is just, you know, estuary English. It's RP, but, you know, a bit rounded off. Drop a few of your G's and T's in there. In it. In it, bruv. <laughs> now, you may mock my Welsh accent, but I've been cast as, as Welsh many times. That, that's an Irish accent. And that's your Irish accent. It's a terrible Irish accent. A terrible that's, Irish accent. That's Lenny accent. Henry. That's Lenny Henry Harford accent. Wait, no, other Irish accent's tis, even worse. Tis to be sure, to be sure. <laughs> no. No, we will not have that. Oh, God. Everybody, when they do it, you can tell the people of a certain age when they immediately start doing Ian Paisley. He is the only person ever to have come from Northern Ireland. Yeah. Everyone it's that great... Um, the... Uh, oh, the What's his name? It was Jerry Adams' uh, brother, who's played by um, Harry Enfield in the Harry in the the uh, what's his name? John Ulsterman. It, you can go and uh, look it up on YouTube. It's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. I have made a legitimate request. It's brilliant. We make fun of the Northern Irish for having for using the word situation. Situation. Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Situation. Situation. Yeah. <laughs> now he is going to move forward here simply because there's absolutely no reason not to. Yes, yeah, it gets him further away from everything that can hit him. That's the like, that's the reason, isn't it? To, to yeah. run him away is that like mm -hmm. distance is the best thing. If you're just out of range, you can't you can't lose it. So. There you go. Just uh, fuck the fuck off, as they um, as they say in polite circles. Yep, correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And of course, that sidestep meaning the full width of the pitch is yours. Yeah. Mm, beautiful. And he beautiful. turned on his heel and out the door he went. Yep. The, the beautiful, beautiful cars. cars. <laughs> the beautiful cars. Although that's a Northern Irish accent, and technically they're not from Northern Ireland, they're from uh, Louth. But... Look, take it up with Ant and Deck, okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's funny, funny how we've tied the two. I mean, it's just one big island, and yeah. Yeah. 
island. And yet Ireland only covers a bit of it. It's odd, isn't it? it, it it's very odd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. There must be a story there, but I, I no, don't know. No, it's not very, it's not particularly detailed. <laughs> Why would you know your own history? Don't about, tell me anything you know, about that history, of, that's just what I was going to say, yeah. Part, part of your own, part of your Didn't own cover it. it was all about the suffragettes and how we ended slavery. Yes, that's um, right, yeah, yeah. Occasional monarch thrown in. <laughs> Now, you may be wondering why that ghoul didn't do the two go for it that would have put it in scoring range, and that's because he doesn't give a shit about scoring. Correct. So, one wolf can hit the ball, and then one ghoul can score, so I guess, you know, you've got the whole... It's not over. It's not over. You, how do you do this? You have to dodge in and uphill him, Mm. So that if he sidesteps to here, the ball can then scatter onto you and then into the crowd and then over there oh, so that your yep, goo yep. can score. <laughs> You're slightly missing out that we're dodging through the mummy's tackle zones. Yeah. And through the whites into a double tackle zone. But like, yeah, he, why not? He's, he's Go got for it. Dodge. I it's mean, the it's, only it's way the you play, can do it. The play, right? And when it's you get the... there, you haven't got tackle and it's two red dice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's the there. only play. It's your only play. But it is play. the only play. Yeah. It's the Ooh, oh, there's no, there's this, there's this guy. This guy could maybe make dodges as Hang well. Hang on, Jim. Angelina's at the door. I just. Uh... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe this is easier actually. Five, four, um, five. Yeah, that might actually be easier. Just do it with this, with this guy, and then you've actually got this one to collect it as well, potentially, right? So yeah, maybe it's maybe it's this this zombie. Five, four, five, two, two. Uphill, double six, and then if it, you know the ball could go there, and then this this wolf could then go yeah. and get it and pass it to him. So yeah, maybe, maybe this maybe this zombie's the player. Stranger things have happened. We don't we didn't learn well. I mean, I say we don't. I don't know what people learn in history nowadays, of course, because it's you know twenty five years since I went to school, but um, we didn't learn hardly anything when I was at school. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we we learned the, some his. Romans, the Roman the Roman roads a little bit. And, I'm not uh, sure it is his story anymore, Jim. I think it's now their story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's high story, isn't it? Actually, I always yeah. thought that was stupid when they said it's it's her story, not his story. And it's like there's not there's not double S. It's high story, <laughs> isn't it? The ghoul could do the uphill. I just thought it was a definition of every king. He's a Tory. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. His, his Tory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did go for it, but it wasn't me. Oh, that was Taco's uh, second dodge. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah, you know, there's no uh, exclamation mark Gary on going on, so fair play to him. Oh, he gave it a proper go. He did? Messed up the client to watch it happen. It looked like he was... Doing something very unnatural to that mummy, but was in fact dodging past it. <laughs> Way. And there we go. Well done, Toast Guy. Yeah. I would uh, raise a glass to him, but. Oh, I see. Because yeah, he's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Toast Guy. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Cheers. Cheers for the joke. Yeah. Frost. <laughs> Post, uh, post mein um, we did the first world war at school. We didn't do the second world war. Yeah, we did both. We didn't do the cold war either. What What was weird is right when I was at school for history, we did like what GCSE was on fucking the history of medicine. So like the last year or two, ooh, we ooh. just did the history of medicine instead of like history. It was fucking weird. Yeah, we didn't do the cold war in history because when I was young. It that wasn't was... history. It, it hadn't was... happened yeah. yet. <laughs> it was then. Yeah. Mm. That was. <laughs> it was now. <laughs> we didn't do Napoleonics, was it? would have been great if we'd done Napoleonics. We didn't do Napoleonics. We did the Romans, though. Well, there you go. Um, right, there you go. That's uh, That was a game. Uh, commiserations yep. to uh, whoever it was. <laughs> Karg, Karg seventy nine, Crag seventy nine, a Crag or Karg, one of the two, um, and you know he, he did all right, didn't he? But it was he just got diced a bit, you know, by Torsten. He, he, he did, did all right. Well. We, I, I'm with you. We didn't particularly love his first half. Sort of, is he discom? Is he not committing? Is he committing? Is he trying to stop them? Is he not? That felt like there was some muddled thinking through that. But yeah. it was just a game where things kept getting removed, and that was perhaps more important than what the coaches were doing. 
Yeah. yeah. I fear so, yep. Yeah. There you go. Right, thank you. So congratulations to Toss Guy. Thank you very much, PC and Kalon. Thanks for watching. Absolute everyone. pleasure. Oh. Yeah, cheers for having me. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.